Well, you feel, wait, is this your camera? Do years have it. This is it. How are we doing, people? Thanks for bringing me a chair, mate. Are you coming in? We could just do a sit down, five habits, me and Sam. Come on in, you're in it. Is he in it? You've pretty much just broken our set here, but that's nicely done. Welcome. Can you see him? Great to be on board, finally. How are you doing? It's taking me a while. It's taking you a while, mate. Really? Has. Sam, introduce yourself. My name's Sam. It's good to meet you. Is anyone spotting anything here? That's youth, youth leadership right there. <laughs> that is. Anything you've got to say to the people? Well, what are you talking about? Well, I'm doing five habits to change your 2020. Mate, you just nicked my five, didn't you? No, I didn't. I bet you have. I bet I have too. Okay, well, okay well, I'll give one thing that will change the habit. Come change, on, change, change it. I don't know if it's one of your ones. Well, it better not be. Well, I'll try, I hope it's not. It's been oiled. One of the things that will... Um, oh, yeah, a bit shiny. <laughs> yeah, you are a bit shiny. Service. You're a bit shiny. Where's the makeup? We have makeup for this. No, I didn't. The number one habit that will change your 2020, it won't just change your 2020, it'll change the rest of your life. Okay. You can get to the regular habit of reading, reading the Bible. Mm. So every single, like, I try to go every single day. I think that's pretty achievable. One of the things you can do at the start of the year to kick it off right is do a 30 day shred, which Jimmy is going to be doing. You're going to be doing the 30 day shred, Jim? You can do a 30 day shred, can't you? You read the Bible for <laughs> back in 30 days. And it's probably one of the one things that I did last year, really a big influence to in my year. I did it again. Well, I did it twice. I did it at the end of double the year. Double dipped. Well. I double dipped it. Good boy. And I'm going to do it again in Jan. Triple so dip. That'll be a triple dip within. That's nice. 14 months. That's good going. Good going, man. Pretty good going. Um, so, yeah, reading the Bible. Is that one of your points? That was actually point number six. <laughs> Six out of five habits. I bet you've got making your bed in the morning. Yeah, classic. Classic. Uh, you know me, I've always made my bed though. Have you? I have, yeah. I've been brought have up like actually? that. I have, yeah. Wow. But the, I also started doing that, like, well, not last year, a bit, probably a bit earlier. Yeah. But I watched that Marine video. That's, it. That's where I got it from. Yeah, unbelievable. Good cap. Yeah, captain in some American graduation. So we'll do that as well. Um, Point number one. Okay, I'm going to leave. I've got stuff to do. He's got, mate, Sam be in here. Jackie Slice, what do you have me on your one, mate? Yeah, disgusting. Uh, disgusting. Disgusting. Well, that was great. He's just fallen over. He's got an oily forehead. Because who doesn't like an oily forehead? Nothing like good face oil. Start reading and challenge what you're reading. That way you'll apply what you're reading. That's habit number one. Read. He said about read the Bible. Read the Bible. But if you want to read something else, read a leadership book. Read a self-growth book. There's so many to read. Read them because that is sick. There's a good book I like, it's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and it is a cracker, absolute cracker, like a Christmas cracker. Nothing like a Christmas cracker. Pop, there it goes. Number two, habit number two, start by making your bed in the morning. He said it, and it's important. I've Sam, got one more, Jimmy. What have you got? Wash your hands off the toilet, that's a good habit. Wash your hands, especially if you're double dipped. Wash your hands. After you come up the toilet, that's not point number two. Point number two is start by making your bed in the morning because that means that you've done one task, then the whole day is yours. You can go and do whatever you want with a day. But because you've already known that you've done one task, that gives you the inspiration and an aspiration to do more tasks. And that is important. And that's habit number two. Habit number three, which is a very good one, which I've started to do recently, is write down three things that you are grateful for. That's cool. And that really does help you feel better throughout the day because you know that you're living a good life and you've got stuff. Everyone, I can challenge you right now and say every single one of you who's watching, you've got stuff to be thankful for. And that is so important. By write free down and see how your emotion and mood will change for the, throughout the whole of the day. It's really cool and it's, I'm loving it. I love doing it every day. And also what I'm doing also is habit number four, which is gonna help you in 2020, is set a daily intention. You know, this could be as simple as saying today, I'm gonna do some economics work. Or today, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some football and play it well. But have, a, have some intention throughout the day. Don't run around like a headless chicken. Because that, who, who likes a headless chicken? I said that in the last episode, but enjoy that. Round two, double dip. Double dip is a theme today. But yeah, have some intention in your day, because this is just important. Because let's make 2020 a year of intention and see how much you'll grow, because that is so important. Watch it, watch it grow. Last one, stay safe steadily, 
invest wisely. I think we as young people overlook the necessity to save for the future because we are so busy living in the present. You never know when you'll need the money saved, but in 2020, if you begin to save, you know that you've got a little bit left for those hard times. Fram college students and other people, you know what it's like going down to that cafe, seeing them cold and sausage rolls. How do you make a sausage roll? Push it down a hill, there you go. Enjoy them ones at the Fram College dinner. Dinner ladies, love that joke. But yeah, sausage roll. You know how easy it is. A pound, and then you get a coffee, that's two pound. Two pound five days, that's a tenner a week I spend in the cafe. That's a lot of buns. Buns and burner, nice little earner. But honestly, you think how much money you spend on the little things. Look into that. Be more conscious of what you're spending your money on. And start saving. Use Monzo. There's a great banking app that allows you to have all your different pots that you can invest and save into and it is really cool also invest wisely we as young people do not invest enough and that is so important what for what you need to do invest wisely start looking into ways that you as a young person can invest and see how your 2020 will go they're six points with sammy's points but that's six no seven wipe your hands Seven points to change your 2020. Thank you so much for listening. Hope you guys had a great new year. Uh, and see and apply these points, habits, and see how far you go. Oh yeah, a habit. Do it for 21 days and something becomes a habit. So I challenge you, 21 days. And we'll post every single 21 days reminding you of the five habits. How about that? That's key. Thank you so much for watching. It's been NYMY Podcast. Good night. God bless.